Thanks BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, I'm actually gonna start today's video by briefly talking about the sponsor because I wanna make sure this message gets to as many people as possible. It is an incredibly important one. As you heard, the sponsor is of course BetterHelp. BetterHelp makes professional therapy accessible, affordable, and convenient. It is the world's largest therapy service. All you have to do is go to betterhelp.com slash Bray and fill out a brief survey that will assess your needs in order to connect you to a therapist that is right for you. No matter what it is you're going through, BetterHelp's network of over 23,000 licensed and vetted therapists is there to help. One of the best aspects of online therapy is the flexibility that comes with it. You can communicate in whichever way is most comfortable to you, whether that be through messaging, phone calls, or video. BetterHelp is also globally available, so no matter where you're located, you can get connected to a therapist. You can also message your therapist at any time without scheduling an appointment. It is also more affordable than offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp is not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional therapy done securely online. Visit betterhelp.com Bray to receive 10% off your first month. Well, ahoy, everybody. I'm back down to the Rustin Way waterfront today. What? What? Ahoy. <laughs> because we're on the beach. Yeah. It's a fucking beautiful. Okay, sorry. I won't laugh next time. Goodness gracious. I did it over there, too. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, what's up, everybody? Back down at the Rustin Way waterfront today. Shot a video here a few weeks ago. This time, I'm joined by Alicia. I'm gonna be shooting some portraits today, kind of throwing it back to the old school style of videos. Pretty chill, nothing too crazy, but I did get a new camera, Nikon F100, 35 mil. I haven't really shot 35 mil much at all in the last year. And I wanted to pick this camera up because I thought it'd be fun to shoot some portraits with it since it's so automated. It's got you know autofocus and aperture priority and auto wind and there's no actual shutter dial on it. It's just, it just feels very much like a DSLR, so I thought it'd be fun to try a camera like this out since I've never really shot a film camera like this other than Alicia's Contax G2, which is still a bit different than this camera. So I'm gonna walk around, shoot some photos, chill day, shoot some portraits, which I also haven't done in a really long time. Got some Fuji Superior F400. We're gonna throw in this, rate it at 200, and have ourselves a day. All right, do that again. Come on, stop that. Another guy looking for the perfect lover. The kind of love you only seen in another. I wasn't waiting for sunshine and unicorn. I'm the thin hair and then you don't burst. Shooting these at F2 right now, really testing the autofocus capabilities and the sharpness of this. Uh, 50 mil 1.8 G lens. My test roll was on the uh, 35 to 70, like 3.3 to 4.5 lens or something. Excited to see the results from the 50 mil. Then I guess or a sleep to a room a fool from collision on my way home. I cut a corner down the hit and crash. The crash has been the first and hasn't been the last Cause it's a different kind of love From many other old school dating is the boat We are explorers, it's a different kind of love And everyone is looking like we crazy people Just escape from alone So Fuji Superior Extra 400 on the box, it actually says to rate it at 200 when you're outdoors. This is pretty much the only film stock that I've been shooting for the past year, the few times that I have shot 35 mil. And I always rate it at 200, and it just gives amazing results. We hit and crashed. My crazy love circus was here at last. 
This is a romantic in a very funny way I know our kind of love is the one made to stay Cause it's a different kind of love From any other old school dating is a book so one thing I will note about this camera, I bought this one and I noticed that this back dial wasn't really working. Like it would take a few spins for it to change one setting on the camera. So I bought another one and then the other one I bought, the front dial, had the same issue where you'd spin it and spin it and nothing would really happen then every once in a while it would change its setting. So if you're looking to buy one of these I would definitely message the seller and see if there's uh, that issue or if they can check for that issue before you buy it. But uh, on this one, the dude just refunded me the 375 bucks and then told me to keep the camera. So that's what we're using today. It doesn't really affect the function of it, the shooting aspect. It just makes it a little annoying every once in a while. But I shoot on aperture priority mode anyway, so I don't need to use this dial ever. So pretty much scored a free camera, um, which I'm not complaining about. That was sketchy. Precise as a glove, I really enjoy a different kind of love. Oh, oh, a different kind of love. A different kind of love. A different kind of love. So we shot about half the roll, a little less than half the roll through the F100. Just so easy to blast through film on this camera because it doesn't feel like you're shooting film it feels like you're shooting a digital camera with how automated it is like I said the auto focus and the auto features and the auto wind it just makes everything a breeze and the nicest feature that I've noticed for shooting portraits in the middle of the day is that one eight thousandth of a second shutter speed so I can open this thing up to f2 2.8 and still have a 400 speed film in here and get that shallow depth of field in the middle of the day no problem so that's really nice on a camera like this. On other cameras like the K1000 and the Canon AE1, you're only gonna get up to one one thousandth of a second on your shutter speed. Then you have to put an ND on the camera if you want to you know, open up your aperture to F2 or 1.8 or as wide as it can go uh, for those middle of the day shots because it'll be too bright. So yeah, overall, awesome camera from what it seems and it's only a couple hundred, two, three hundred bucks. So. I'm gonna go to a new location, shoot some more, and uh, yeah, finish off this roll. Perhaps one day I'll hit the lotto. Then my bills would all be paid. Money no longer would be a bother. My life would never be the same We could travel all around this world Fly first class every day I know But if I never hit the lotto Would you still love me anyway? Perhaps one day I'll reach the big time the whole world would know my name Well, every other magazine All right, to finish the second half of the roll, we have come out to Point Defiance Park, complete change of scenery from Ruston. We were at the beach earlier, now we're in the forest. A lot of densely packed trees, really cool trails and roads to drive out here. So it'll be exciting to see how Superior 400 handles this a little bit lower lighting that we're dealing with. But I'm going to shoot the rest of the roll through this F100 and see how she does. Anyway. Three, two, one. So these are F2.8 at about 1, 1 25th of a second. One day I'll have the answers. 
for every question that's ever been most brilliant minds of our time will call me colleague and friend we would never have any problems at all I'd solve them each right away But if I never have the answers You still love me anyway well, If I never hit the lotto Or reach the big time one day So if you are an OG, OG, I'm talking OG watcher of my film photography videos about, what, two and a half years ago I made a vlog kind of thing with Alicia. It was one of the first film photography videos I made. And we shot some images out in Oregon, just off Highway 84. And Alicia had this kind of cool idea, or maybe she saw it on like TikTok or some bullshit, I don't know. But anyway, she had this cool idea where uh, you stand in the middle of a road and you kind of do this cool like bend thing. It might be super cliche, but it was a cool photograph. I took it on the Bronica SQ, but we're gonna recreate it right here with the Nikon because we got this beautiful road with all these really big trees and it's just a really cool kind of perspective. So I'm gonna recreate it, part two of the Alicia Bends in the middle of the road image series. Here we go. What if, what if we do bendy one, but you get hit by a car as we're doing it? Oh, okay. Three, two, one. But if I never have oh, the answer. That might have been it right there. Would you still love me anyway? If I never hit the lotto Or reach the big time one day If I never have the answers Would you still love me? Would you still love me anyway? All right, that wraps up a day shooting with the Nikon F100 with the Nikkor 50 mil f 1.8 g lens really stoked on this setup had a blast shooting it today and for portrait photography in particular it's just so nice having that autofocus the model isn't waiting around for you to nail manual focus all the time i'm sure alicia can attest to how much nicer of an experience it was shooting on this being the model as opposed to an ae1 or my olympus 35 that uh, i shot on before i got this camera so if you're looking to pick one up, like I said, just be aware of these dial issues because I've literally gotten two of these and bo they both had the same issue, one uh, on each of the different dials. So yeah, just message, message the seller, be sure you get one that's working, but I essentially got this camera for free so I really can't complain. And I'm excited to uh, go into the summer with this thing and shoot some more portraits of my friends, carry it around with me and it's just nice having basically the polar opposite of my Pentax 672. Something that's a little bit more lightweight, fully automatic if you want it to be. Um, so it's nice to have that option for anything that I need it for. Guys, thanks for watching. I know it was a bit more of a chill video today, but uh, it's nice to kind of just be loose, have some fun, and uh, walk around the neighborhood, some local areas, shoot some pictures. So hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next week. Peace. Alicia, maybe you want to tell the people your thoughts on the Nikon F100. Um, I think it's pretty good, but it is not the Contax G2. So that's all I really got to say.